Here we will be looking at a construction for a parabola like this whose base or the horizontal extent and height that is a vertical extent is given to us. For that we will be using the difference between a straight line and a parabola. Now we know a equation y is equal to kx represents a straight line through origin and the equation y is equal to kx square would represent a parabola through origin. We are going to trace a straight line using this tracing point P at the tip of this yellow triangle here and that is uh, located at the intersection of this vertical green line and this inclined red line. You will see as I move this green line the intersection moves and small wonder it moves along a straight line. But let us look at the variation here. So let us change this x coordinate to say something that is twice 20. You would notice y has also doubled. Let us double it again and y has doubled again. So you would notice that doubling x doubles y. In fact that is what we call as the linear variation. But in case of parabola, we want something more. When x doubles, we want y to not only double but becomes twice of that, four times. And when x increases three times, we want y's increase to be nine times. How can we get that? How can we get that extra increase from? Well, for that, let us also vary the slope of this red line. So when we double the x coordinate, let us also double the slope of this red line. So that way we will not only get the intercept that we got here, but we will get twice of that. So 2 times 2 will give us 2 square. Similarly, when we triple the x coordinate, let us triple the slope of this red line. So that way we will not only get triple the increase in y, the linear increase that we got here, but 3 times of that, which is 3 square. Let us actually try this out and you will see as the x coordinate increases, the slope of the red line is also increasing in proportion and thereby we are getting a variation that looks like a parabola. It indeed is a parabola. So that is the trick we will be using. So let us put this trick to uh, use in a practical construction. So we will start by drawing a rectangle whose sides are the given base and height. Then we draw the perpendicular bisector of the base which will be the axis of the parabola. So it will intersect the base at the vertex which will be our origin as well. Then we are going to divide the base into equal number of parts say 16 parts over here. And we will divide the height in half the number of parts so 8 parts I will mark on the height. These uh, markings will help us come up with different positions of our red line with steadily increasing slope. So these are the various positions of the red line and the slope is increasing linearly like 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. And then we are going to mark corresponding intersections. So the first green line and the first red line will mark the intersection then second and second and so on. So these intersections will be the desired positions of our tracing point over here which are nothing but uh, the parabolic points. So we will just connect them with a smooth curve to get the desired parabola. 